up? It's a chinchilla notebook here and in today's video I'm going to be doing a DIY chinchilla toy tutorial. I think this video turned out pretty well. I tried to come up with as many ideas as I could for chinchilla toys. So yeah, here it is. I just want to mention before I get into the video that some of these toys, obviously these don't replace any toys that you can get from the store that are meant for chinchillas. You know, you can't make wood or rock or anything, but you can work with the materials and make something fun and interesting for your chinchilla. So today I'm going to be showing you toys that you can either put in his cage for him to play around with or leave out for during playtime because some of these I don't recommend keeping in your chinchilla's cage without supervision. So yeah, without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. So to start off, as you can see, there is still some excess toilet paper that is stuck to the tube. So what I'm going to be doing to get it off is just, as you can see, tearing as much off as I can. I'm going to be rubbing my fingers against the tube, against the toilet paper, to try to get it off as much as I can. Now with our scissors, we're going to be cutting pieces off like this. You don't want them to be too thick or too thin because it's going to make this harder. So basically, just cut them as thick as I'm cutting this one over here and just do a couple of those. So now that we're all done with those, what we're going to do is be kind of fitting them together like this. And I really can't explain it as well. You just have to watch how I do it. But basically, we're going to be crisscrossing the pieces and trying to fit them together. You're not going to need any glue or tape for this because if you do it right, in the end, you will have like a little ball, a cardboard ball, that will be staying together and not falling apart. For this next DIY, we're basically just going to be taking the outer, you know, opening of it and pushing it together to close off the opening. So this next step is optional, but you can either fill it up with hay or treats. I'm going to be putting hay cubes and hay in there, and then you're going to be closing off that end just like you did with the other one. And lastly, you can just cut some holes in the sides with a pair of scissors so that the hay or treats stick out more and the chinchilla can smell them better. This DIY we're basically just going to be cutting a ton of strips of fleece and just making a pile with as many as you can get. So this DIY you can really do whatever you want but basically what I'm going to be doing is taking a square of fleece and then tying it like this to kind of make a bow and you can leave it like this if you want to if this looks appealing to you. But for me, I'm just going to be basic, basically making some cuts and adding some fleece to it just to make a big fleece toy that you can put, the chinchilla can take and play around with in the cage. So you can make it as nice as you want to, but this is how mine ended up looking. My mesh ramp is already bent, but basically what you're going to do is, because the mesh ramp is pretty pliable, you're just going to be bending and pushing to get it into a circular shape that would resemble a bridge. Now since the mesh is not safe for chinchillas paws and they can get stuck in there, we're going to be taking our fleece and kind of fitting it on top and then you're just going to cut as much as you need to so that it covers the whole ramp. Now 
the two little circle pieces of fleece, we're just going to be basically putting it up and over this, tucking it like this so that it holds down the fleece. And that's pretty much it. I also want to mention that since this is mesh and the piece of fleece can fall off, please only use this under supervision and during playtime and don't just leave it in the cage. This next DIY is one of the DIYs that also can be put outside during playtime and not in your chinchilla's cage because you don't want them to digest and chew too much of the cardboard. Basically, I recommend that you do this with paperboard like cereal boxes because the cardboard is a lot easier to cut and work with. But yeah, I'm just going to be taking my scissors and cutting off the flaps to this Ritz box over here and then I'm going to be using a knife cutter or what do you call that an exacto knife or a utility knife that's what it is to just cut squares and rectangles and triangles and pretty much anything that you want to just to make some little holes that your chinchilla can look out of and what light and air can come through So for this last day, why we're basically just going to be taking some string, and I used jute string, but you can use any kind of string that is safe for chinchillas. So basically, I'm just going to be wreathing it through the piece of wood, and I'm just going to add any beads or other wood that I want to. You can either knot both ends and kind of make a just a toy throw that you can throw in the cage or like me you can tie the two pieces together to make a circle kind of deal. I think I like this because it's really cool and fun and Merlin loves it. So that's pretty much it for the video. Let me know down in the comments below if you tried any of these DIYs or if they worked out for you. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. I don't want to make it too long. So yeah, Marilyn just says bye.